What's going on YouTube? It is Sunday here in Iowa. We have 30 degree weather, snow. Two days ago it was 80 degrees. A few days, like it was warming up, like spring was here, feeling like summer's coming, and <laughs> Mother Nature was like, we're gonna shut this down real quick, and we're gonna make you guys feel like it is winter again. Yesterday was a high, 45 was the high, I think, right around there crazy just freaking crazy but the real reason you guys are here this device right here it basically takes your wired setup so if you have Android Auto or CarPlay and it's a wired setup this is gonna make it wireless so that, that right there keeps it the main reason why you would want to go wireless for one ease of just not having to plug your phone in but every time you plug your phone in your your wired setup is going to actually take a hit on your battery you don't want to keep just plugging your battery in and charging it constantly throughout the day it's gonna affect the battery health you just don't want that if you do need to charge it you need to charge it whatever but I need to grab some food I need to grab some lunch and uh, we're gonna break this down Nice, just don't feel the same. Oh, back my life inside a car. Hit the button, drive real far. Yeah, I'll just take. Um, did you forget to order food? I haven't had canes in a minute, guys. Wrigley, have you had canes in a minute? Just know the amount of drool that that dog drools. Is ungodly this is the device you're gonna need to do wireless carplay and or Netflix YouTube it's got the USB port that's to do software updates it's also got I don't know if you can see that if it focuses in HDMI so basically what you can do with the HDMI it, that's an HDMI input so you can hook up from your phone something else a media device and do HDMI in mirror it to your display I probably won't ever use that function, but it's kind of handy it's there. Maybe in the event you run out of data, something like that. It has US, so the input on it, USB-C to a regular little USB, you would just plug it in where you would normally plug your wired Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. For me, it's gonna be right here. Wrigley, hold on to that. As you can see, standard iPhone cable. Plug in, boom, red lights on, got power, that's all you have to do. And then this is the little, the only thing that sucks with this thing is that every time you turn your car on or you turn this device on, it does this. And it's like a solid 20 second. First thing it tells you, don't operate while in motion. Yeah, yeah, agree and accept. And this is just going to be your main home screen. So as you can see, your, your main options are CarPlay, Android Auto, Supercast, Media, Bluetooth, Settings. You got your shortcuts for your Netflix, your YouTube. Honestly, I haven't even used these. I don't even know what this is. So this must be your YouTube music. Hit the little circle button, hit the back button. You can hit home, but I like to back out because I believe this is kind of an Android based software. So I like to hit the back button, I don't know why. But in order to play Netflix or YouTube, you're gonna need your data attached. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is settings, Wi-Fi, turn it on, searching. This is where you're gonna go on your phone or whatever type of hotspot device you have. Turn it on, boom. Connects, it is now connected. I have had issues with this, I've been testing it. I've had issues sometimes where the Wi-Fi wouldn't connect. I've had issues where it just randomly shut off. So I've had to power boot it, you know, several times. Just. It's still kind of not that great software wise, but you can't expect a lot because it's a cheaply made device. So once you're connected to Wi-Fi, I just back out, you know, you can do, I haven't even really messed with anything else like the settings. I haven't looked at the themes. Now we are connected via hotspot. 
so we can use net YouTube or Netflix CarPlay I don't have Android so no Android Auto never will CarPlay it connected pretty fast I've noticed that it does connect decently fast sometimes this takes a few seconds to connect which drives me insane earlier today this connected like fast seamless fast just perfect there it finally went so now we are just to our normal car this is our normal carplay screen as if my phone was plugged in wired but as you can see we are wireless everything works go to my spotify it's gonna load playlists so hit that button I have seen in the reviews where people are trying to say that in order to get back to the main home screen where it shows YouTube, Netflix, they somebody said they had to actually shut their car off, but actually you just actually have to if you if you're not if you can't figure it out, then what you have to do is unplug the device, plug it back in, let it boot up and get to that screen. But I'm sure there's a way to do it on other, you know, manufacturer displays, but when I want to go to my home screen on this, you just hit the Ford Sync. Now you'd think that would take me to my sync display options, but it doesn't. It takes me back to this. So now we're back at our YouTube, Netflix. So whenever you open, so now you can actually wirelessly stream. You can wirelessly mirror your phone to this because you're hooked up via hotspot from your phone. So I haven't, from YouTube, I haven't been able to do the Chromecast, but I have been able to airplay it to this, which I'm assuming when you do that, it's going to save your data. It's just you're going to have your phone running the whole time. So again, usually pretty much every screen you're on, you can hit that little bubble. And it brings up this, back, home, YouTube. We don't want the membership. And let's click a video. pause hit that so it's not the fastest loading you know it's not crazy fast performance wise especially with the touchscreen like this but I'm pretty impressed by how actually decent the YouTube videos work hit the back button you can hit it again and you'll get out of it I actually haven't even used Netflix I have Netflix but I just don't really watch that much Netflix to me I would use the YouTube more than probably Netflix I'm not really looking to actually dive into shows while driving but everybody has different needs so again we've already been connected with carplay and this time you can see it connected a lot faster i think you don't even have to do anything you it should just connect it's loading and now it's trying to load the carplay which i have no clue why it's taking so long wrigley are you bored out of your mind right now he is we're still loading you can set this to automatically connect to carplay so this is taking a stupid amount of time to connect it's connected there now loaded so when you do go back to this screen it should be automatically there so once you're connected, you can go back and forth. So the minute you switch back to CarPlay, you must be disconnected from the personal hotspot. So you go back to settings and it's gonna be turned off. So it's either you're in CarPlay mode or if you wanna go back to the YouTube stuff or something with the internet, you're gonna have to go back and reconnect your hotspot, which is just another little thing that's just kind of a pain i just wonder why it's like that but it's also a cheap and i believe it's android based device so i mean you can't expect a lot it's in the hundred and i think 50 60 dollar range they're like 190 but there's like a bunch of coupons for them on amazon i paid full price for it i didn't get a discount nobody sent this to me so it's not a bad little streaming device that's it that's the device you can also buy a lot cheaper device for 40 50 bucks and have wireless carplay if that's what you're after 
this device is just going to give you both. It's going to give you the wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, but it's also going to give you the ability to do Netflix and YouTube, obviously your YouTube music. But I just don't think for the price that it's really that beneficial. But if you are road tripping, you're on a road a lot, and you want to just put, you know, possibly a YouTube video up or a Netflix video up. Honestly, though, I think for what I'm going to use it for, I'm not going to use it on a regular basis just because it's kind of intermittent connecty slash the, the boot up time is slow. For me, I hardly ever need CarPlay 24 seven wirelessly, so that's not the biggest deal. Usually what I do, I unplug her and she's just back to normal. So that's all I got for you guys today. And we have a couple more mods coming in the future. For one, it might be the more remote hotel lights. I'm still not sure. Probably once they actually get released, maybe I'll order them. But as of right now, I'm not gonna do a pre-order. I'm gonna see what happens with the Alpha Rex tails and getting those warrantied. Other than that, if you guys like this content, make sure to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button because I will be bringing more videos. Wrigley would love it as well. Wrigley, you gonna close out this video? Okay guys, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna grab his paw and I'm gonna try to touch the screen and he's not gonna like it. He already knows what's going down. Okay, just so you guys know, I didn't actually hurt him. For some reason, he just thinks that this device is going to possibly clip his paw off. I don't know. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Give me your paw. Give me that paw.